We'll guide you through how to remove your Microsoft account from Windows 11. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So when you first set up your Windows 11 account, you may have gone and set it up with a Microsoft account and you may now want to go and remove that. So to go and do this, all you need to do is firstly open up your settings. So come to the bottom of Windows and go and press on the start button and then go and click on settings or you can go and search for it. In your settings, head over to the left and go and tap on accounts and then scroll down to account settings uh, and go and click into your info. It'll take a moment to load and in here, then go into account settings. So as you can see here, it currently says Microsoft account, but to go and remove it, what we need to do is go and switch this uh, Windows 11 account on your computer to a local account. This will keep all of your files, which is you've got on your computer. You're simply just making it into an account, which is just on your computer. And in the future, you can always go and add this Microsoft account again, or even a different one. So let's go and click on sign in with a local account instead. And it then says, are you sure you want to go and switch to a local account? It sort of gives you a bit of information here. So read through that. I'll just press next. You then need to enter your pin like this. And then we need to enter our local account info. So what you can do is enter your username and then your password and then press next. Obviously make sure you enter a secure password. And then what we need to do is sign out and finish and then use our new local account info to sign in. So I'll see you once I sign back in. I've just signed back in. So I'll then go and click on the Windows Start button at the bottom and then go and click on settings and then head over to the left again and tap on accounts and then into your info under account settings. And as you can see, I've now got a local account here. And when we come down to account settings, it says local account again. And now we have the option to sign in with a Microsoft account instead.